Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the rest of the dev letter with the balancing patch and the quality of life changes, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get right into it. So like I've been saying, I love that they do this with the dev letters and give us an, a whole explanation about what they had in mind when they're doing all this stuff. So the first thing is the balance adjustment explanation. It says from here, we will explain the intent of the main adjustments made in the battle balance adjustments uh, made in this update. This time we will divide the explanation into three topics. So subdivision of physical strength recovery, amount reduction effect, uh, like how the healing changes in uh, increasing the amount of the increase of the secret technique gauge for diff defense types and the balance adjustments of individual jutsu so like last time the explanation will be a little long but i would be happy to hear or i would be happy if you could bear with me uh so on the other one when i was talking about the the health recovery thing i showed the wrong <laughs> the wrong screenshot but this is the thing about the of the the change of like redu reducing the health re recovered so it says the amount of physical strength recovered, but it means like the amount of health recovered uh, regarding the subdivision of the reduction effect. So the current, I'll just read it out as, as it says, but just know when they say like strength recovery, they mean like health recovery. Uh, the current physical strength recovery amount decrease and the physical strength recovery amount increase effect has the effect of decreasing or increasing the recovery amount of the target to whom this buff is applied, this buff or debuff. Uh, when creating the ninjutsu for Sasori this time, we needed an effect that would reduce the amount of recovery received in order to reproduce the powerful poison of Sasori, which is dope because of like everything that happened with Kankuro and stuff, like he couldn't like be healed nor by normal healing jutsu. Uh, so that's dope. It says in order to make it easier to understand these two effects, we have subdivided them into amount of physical force recovered decrease and amount of physical force recovered decrease. They both say the same thing, but I think the, other, the second one should say increase. Uh, so it said the decrease amount of physical strength recovered effect is still a debuff effect for healing types and the decrease amount of physical strength recovered effect is applied to the enemy you want to defeat in his position as a debuff that prevents it from being recovered. Uh, the physical strength recovery amount increase effect is the same as before, increasing the amount of physical strength recovery. So they're just, they're basically just saying you can get your amount of healing that you receive decrease and you can get it increased from buffs uh, that you can get from other things like uh, the clothing perks I guess. In addition to Sasori's poison, we have added a decreased amount of physical strength recovery effect to ninjutsu that inflicts other poison effects as part of the balance adjustment. Uh, the performance of various ninjutsu has changed, so please check out the patch notes for details. So we'll cover th those uh, when the actual update comes up and when the update is live because it doesn't really go into that in here. But I'm, I'm assuming that this means that every other move that does poison damage also makes it so that they don't recover as much health from healing items. So that definitely makes poison a lot stronger than it used to be in the game. And what the funny thing about this though is that they're, they're, they're doing all this stuff with the status ailments, but I feel like one of the main things they've been trying to do with healer is to make it so that cellular extraction is not so powerful. But because of this, cellular extraction is even more powerful than it's ever been. Like it's more necessary because they're, they're trying to do like a debuff uh, meta now. And the best thing to get rid of debuffs is cellular extraction. So even if they decrease the healing because of all this, cellular extraction is even better than it used to be, uh, even with the nerfs to healer in general. Uh, so let's uh, check out the secret technique for the defense type. So it says increase the amount or increase amount of increase in the secret technique gauge of the guardian type or the defense type. Uh, so as introduced in part two, there's a system in Shinobi Striker where all types have their own special actions. And by fighting according to those actions, the amount of increase in the secret technique gauge increases. And we talked about this last time because I even mentioned that it seemed like it's very difficult for defense types to get their alts. Uh, so let's let's see. So it says among them, the defense type has a difficult time filling up its secret gauge unless it is attacked by an opponent. And the amount of increase when receiving damage is set to be quite modest compared to when receiving an attack with a shield type ninjutsu. 
Uh, so as a result, if you didn't use shield type ninjutsu, it was quite difficult for defense types to fill up the secret technique gauge. And this is exactly what I was talking about when they revealed exactly how uh, each class gets their or charges their their alt. So this is a great this is a great adjustment. Uh, so then it says in this balance adjustment, we have increased the amount that the secret technique gauge increases by approximately 30% when receiving damage from the defense type and made and made adjustments so that the secret technique gauge will accumulate more easily by fighting on the front lines. Uh, since the original increase was modest, the amount of increase in the in the secret technique gauge has not increased significantly, but this adjustment should make it easier for even guardian types to aim for a turnaround with secret techniques. Uh, so now basically, you just get more alt charge when you take normal damage, no matter what you're doing. Before, their alt charge significantly faster if they were getting hit with like, if somebody was attacking sand shield or something like that. Uh, but now it's just when they get hit in general. So, um, but it, it, you still get more with the sand or with the shield type ninjutsu. But now you you'll get also uh, a lot just from getting attacked. So it just basically reinforces what defense type should be doing, which is being in the fray, being on the front lines, and uh, fighting people. So that's dope. <laughs> because a lot of times, to be honest, when I play defense, I almost play like a range type. Uh, so this will encourage me also to get in to get more into the fight and be like a real defense type. Okay, so then the next part, the next section is regarding balancing or balance adjustments for ninjutsu and ninja tools. Uh, so I would like to introduce Byakugan as a ninjutsu that has undergone a major change in this balance adjustment. Uh, in this adjustment, as an upward adjustment to Byakugan, lock on distance extended will now be added to the buff effect that is applied when activated. This buff increases the lock on distance, allowing you to lock on the enemies at longer ranges. Of course, this effect is also given to allies, so you can accurately sense the enemy's position for, from a long distance and take an appropriate distance. It will be possible to attack. Uh, experience the power of Byakugan, which allows you to see far more accurately. Uh, this is a really cool buff. Like, it makes sense for Byakugan because it's all about, like, being able to see far away and being able to see all around you and stuff. And I really, I like how the animation looks, too, when they, when they show it here. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? This doesn't really seem too significant to me. I feel like, in most cases, it doesn't really matter if, uh, if, if you can target somebody from farther. Like, most Jutsu are going to be so easy to dodge from that distance. And the only time I really feel like, oh, I wish I had a, I could target my opponent from a little bit farther distance is when I'm using Heavenly Hand Power and I want to swap with somebody. And that's almost always only on flag. Whether it's like swapping with the person who caught the flag or if I'm carrying the flag and I want to swap with an opponent that, that's outside the reach of my lock-on. But besides that, I don't really... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they're making adjustments to Byakugan or buffing it because that that move definitely needs to be buffed. It's such an iconic like dojutsu in the show and the fact that it's almost unusable in the game is, is uh, kind of sad. So uh, hopefully this will this is definitely a step in the right direction no matter what. Uh, so then it says, in addition, this patch also includes upward adjustments to many ninja tools. Uh, the ceiling tag that can only be used by the healing type and was difficult to use can now be used by the range type as well as a scientific ninja tool fire bullet, uh, which had a small stock and modest performance in the scientific ninja tool. I don't, I don't know exactly what they mean by that. Okay, so they're saying that the scientific ninja tool fire bullet has more stock now and also the scientific ninja tool shiranui i don't know what i don't even know what ninja tool that is let me know but that one also had an increase in the stock oh I and mean, uh, shout out to to average for giving me another translation of this because the google translate on the website is not very good i don't know if you guys saw my last video but this is on the japanese website the official Nar naruto official website but the japanese version so i'm just using google translate and it's not always accurate especially when it comes to names uh, of course, various balance adjustments have been have also been made to Ninjutsu, and then for full details of the adjustments, be sure to check out the announcements in the in-game patch that will be distributed later, so we'll talk about that when it comes out. Uh, I'm almost positive that pretty much every poisoning Jutsu will get buffed, which is also, will get the buff of um, also reducing health recovery, uh, which is, now that I'm thinking about it, this is a, that's a pretty significant buff to the range class, because range types have probably the most poison jutsu uh, in the game actually they, i think for sure they have the most poison jutsu so that's another uh, w for range types right there 
And it says we will continue to monitor the battle environment and data and make adjustments focusing on focusing on the data and ninjutsu announced today. Uh, please continue to enjoy the battle in the Ninja World League. So in conclusion, uh, thank you for watching till the until the end or reading until the end. Sasori the puppeteer will pull the strings of the, on the battlefield or release on Friday, March 29th. Uh, we hope to be able to provide information about the next season in the next development letter. So please wait for a while. Okay, I didn't even notice that when i read through this before so confirmation of season eight i mean we all pretty much knew it was going to happen but that's confirmed confirmed uh, yeah we hope to be able to provide information about the next season in the next development letter so uh so see you in the next development letter hopefully we get at least a little tease of the season eight in the in the sorcery trailer but uh, i'll talk about that when it comes out but yeah, that's hype. I know this video is getting long because that was actually a lot of stuff to cover, <laughs> even though that was just the second half of the dev letter. Uh, these dev th these development letters are juicy, man. I love that they're doing this. I hope they keep it up. It's really dope. Uh, the communication with the with the player base is really really important and really uh, appreciated uh, to, for us. That just that they're taking the time to do this because they already made all these updates, so they don't really have to take the time to explain all of them. But I like, I love that they're doing that. I love the transparency and just like letting us get into their mind and pick their brains and see what they're thinking. Uh, this is great. This is uh, like even like those all the little combos they show and stuff in the in the little clips for the jutsu and everything and the ninja tools is really dope. All right, man. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content because there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up soon. Uh, everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.